Okay, so we've downloaded those three apps. Now let's make a website. Okay, so we're going to go to our applications folder and we're going to search for our GitHub app. I'm just going to type GI, which will take me to the GitHub desktop app. Let's open that up and you'll be asked for passwords, authentication, you'll be taken through a bunch of intro screens and eventually you'll come to something like this which will ask you for your login and password which you probably won't have so we're going to get one from github.com so open up this link you'll need to pick a username put your email in and create a password and then sign up if you already have an account like me you can sign in so my username is Mr. RA screencast and my password is a secret so once you've signed in or signed up you will get to a screen that looks like this. Very important though is to verify your GitHub account on your Gmail or on your mail app wherever. Without verifying it you can't actually host pages properly. Okay so let's create a new repository which is like creating a new project. Let's call it Cartoon Hero or Ghetto. I would prefer hero. The description, my first website, or let's say um, a website about my cartoon hero. Let's keep it public so that people can view it, that people can copy the code if they want. Let's initialize it with a readme. They're a bit sticky about this, so I'd rather include it and create your repository. What we need to do first of all, I know it's really overwhelming seeing all of these and you know all of this information, all of these links, is just to click this drop down and type in GH pages and create a new branch called GH pages. So either press enter or press that link there. This creates a new pages and this is a special branch where we can actually host our website. Okay. So that's step one. Step two is going to the GitHub desktop app and logging in again. Remember your, your username. It comes in handy just now. Okay, so sign in. And from here on out, you'll be logged in as that user until you log back out. Let's close this window. What we need to do now is that we need to basically get that project from GitHub. So there it is. I'm going to clone it to my local computer. I'm going to select the desktop as my project directory and voila. Next select Cartoon Hero and make sure that you're working on the GH Pages branch. This is very important. We're going to be creating a website so we want it to be a GitHub page. Okay. So that's the first part of the GitHub story done. What we need to do next is search for Sublime Text. So in your Applications folder, I'm just going to search for or type SU to bring up Sublime. Let's open this up and then just follow along for now. Type in H1, my first website and H1 again. You'll notice that I'm wrapping an H1 with a, a smaller than and a greater than sign and I'm closing it with a smaller than, a slash and a greater than sign. Doesn't look too remarkable. But you'll see that as soon as I save it in my folder as an HTML file, I'm just going to save it as test.html, you'll see that there's color. So it actually starts to color code my file. What it also does is it starts to give me suggestions about what to write and it also completes a bunch of code for me. So if I press enter now, you'll see that it does quite a bit of work for me and I don't have to remember all of those funny characters. So in here I'm going to say my fave color is red. Fantastic. Let's save this. The next thing that we can do is search for Google Chrome. So I'm going to type Go in my applications folder and open up Google Chrome. It's going to ask me 
If I want to set it as my default browser, I'm going to say yes, please. Mac is going to be a little bit cautious, and I'm going to say yes, use Google Chrome. So then we've got Google Chrome, Sublime Text, and GitHub Desktop installed, and we're using them. So I'm just going to drag them slightly to the left so it keeps them in my bar at the bottom, even when they're closed. Then in my Finder window, I'm going to go to Desktop, open my Cartoon Hero folder, and drag my test.html file into Google Chrome. And ta-da! There is my first website. Okay, so now I want to share it with the rest of the world. So I go to GitHub Desktop. I see that there's one uncommitted change, test.html. So this means that it notices that there's a change. Now I want to say, yes, commit this change because I've actually finished working on this little bit. And I'm going to say, created my first test file. You can give it a description if you want. Your summary and description are really helpful when you're working through a lot of changes and you're working with teams. So you can say, this is exactly what I've changed and this is why I changed it. So then you commit to GH Pages, which commits it to your local project on your computer. Now to get it online, you actually want to synchronize it. Now this is really helpful. So it means you can keep a bunch of changes on your computer and then when you're done, you can send it all up to GitHub online. So there we go. The next thing we need to go to is go to Chrome, create a new tab, and now remember your GitHub username. So mine was Mr. RA dash screencast. And now you need to go dot github.io slash your project name. So cartoon hero slash test dot html. Press enter. Okay. There is an error. Let's have a read. It doesn't contain the selected file. That's because I misspelled it. So let's actually spell it right. Test.html. And there we go. You can share this URL with anybody. Okay. But now, I actually want my red to be red. So now, this is where it gets really powerful. Go back to Sublime Text. And we're going to type span, not spam. And you see how it also completed there again. Fantastic. And we're going to give this element an attribute. There we go. And we're going to save it. And now in Chrome, you'll see that I'm going to go back to our local one, which you'll see that there's a file. And you'll see that the, the online one is our username. So I'm going to refresh this one and you'll see that my favorite color is red has just appeared. So now how do we get that online again? So go to GitHub desktop and you'll see that it's picked up some changes. You'll see that there's a bunch of red text here and a bunch of green. So it's saying that the red one's going and the green one's arriving. Fantastic. Make sure that you're committing to GH pages. And then we're going to say, put a span in. My red is now red. You're welcome to change your test file as you see fit. Experiment, have fun, put in whatever you want. So then I say commit to GH pages. I do a quick synchronize to make sure that it's going up to github.com. And once this has finished synchronizing. I'll wait just a little bit longer for GitHub to get its act together. I'll then go to the second tab and refresh. If nothing appears, it may take a little while longer for things to actually happen. So I do another refresh and another one. So maybe it doesn't happen super fast, but eventually it's going to get red. So if nothing really happens, go to Safari and go to your commit page, which will see that something has happened, put a span in. So it's actually, it's happened. Go back to Google Chrome and now refresh and you'll see that it says my favorite color is red. 
So sometimes things take a while, sometimes you need to just wait a bit. And there we go, your very first website.